Okay, hello guys, this is Cupids here, um, and today I'm going to do a, a quick tutorial on how to have like FL Studio do your drum fills for you. Yeah, that's right. Um, this is uh, inspired on a, a recent tutorial that has been put out by Cymatix uh, and Kermoni, uh, which was done on Ableton, and uh, I figured out a lot of people that use FL Studio uh, were like, oh yeah, that's cool, but uh, I can't do it because I'm on FL Studio. No, uh, that's not true. You can, and I'm going to show you how. Um, so um, I just opened uh, FPC. Wait a second, FPC, uh, which is like a drum uh, kind of a drum kind of rack, uh, you know, um, drum sampler, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just clicked, uh, um, I just dragged a bunch of uh, cymatics uh, percussions here. Uh, free, free, this is from the uh, cymatics 3DM percussions volume one pack. Um, and I just dragged them like to all these different pads, uh, 32 different, uh, different percussions here. And what you want to do now is just Create a note uh, of which has the length of the yeah the length you want for the for the fill. In this case, I want four tempos, a full bar. So, going to yeah, I'm <laughs> going to layer the notes. Okay, this yeah, this sounds this looks a bit weird now. It sounds a bit weird. Yeah, so all the notes are filled up here. I just close up a second, close up the window. Um, now let's place the pattern here. Um, okay. And now what you want to do is, if I play this now, it won't make any sense. Uh, like, yeah, this should be off. Um, if I play this now, it won't make any sense. It will, it will be just all at once. Uh, no, no point there. So what you want to do is click on the arpeggiator thing function, uh, random. Okay. So if you play this now, it may, it might sound good actually. Yeah, you can see it's 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 generating a certain sequence. But now you have uh, here's the secret. You have the time um, the time button here, which change the you see it changed the the, the spin that the notes uh, that the different percussions play. So what you want to do is probably generate create an automation clip uh, and now you just want to personalize it like um, with the values uh, from the button to okay this is half the note speed we have here so um, we should probably like now we are just trying to generate a like a cool pad uh, pattern um, like for instance, I can do. I don't want to be too monotonous here. Just like I think this speeding up here and speeding up here as well. And not like now, probably something like this. Uh, speeding no, speeding down. Uh, speeding up here and speeding down again there. Yeah, probably something like this. Um, let's see. Yeah, so you can see that each time you play it, it plays something different. So I would advise like just grab Edison and like record it a couple of times so you you get it right, you know. Um, but like if you want something more more steady uh, and that plays the same thing all over again, uh, no changes. Uh, you just select one of these modes. For instance, I'm going to select up, um, which is like going upwards on the notes. Um, let's see if it sounds good. Yeah, it sounds yeah, it sounds quite good actually. So um, after you have your your pattern, I'm just, I'm just going to drag it a bar. You're going to see why. Um, you just click on Edison, 
um, which I had here, and you just need to hit the record button and play it. Yeah, so boom, there you have it. And now the only thing you need to do here is something like this. Wait a second, just get off the, the beginning, which has no information whatsoever, and like just cut out the end of it as well. And now what you want to do is save sample as you can. You can go. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm in the wrong spot. Samples, yeah, for instance, you can just type in drum fill one, and then you have it. Uh, like if I go here, like oh, I sorry, oh, come on, what the hell? Ah, uh, okay, just drag it here. Like, let me mute everything else. Uh, there you have it, you have the drum fill here, which is looking quite good actually. You just need to cut off this little access part in the end yeah it's it's sounding quite quite good actually so uh, here it is it's as simple as this so see ya